Hello, and welcome to another episode of Breakcast Gaming Talk. If you saw the title, then you know what I'm going to be talking about here, and yeah, I did this to myself. I don't really know why I did this to myself, but yeah, I decided to play through all episodes of Halo 4 Spartan Ops mode. I did this on the Master Chief Collection, if you all wanted to know, and I also played this on Easy, and I'm glad I did. Let's get into this. If I had to use one word to describe my experience playing Spartan Ops, I would use the word overwhelming. If I were able to use more than one word, it would go something like this. Spartan Ops is an awful experience. Now, maybe it's a little more bearable when playing with a full group of four Spartans, but playing it as a single player experience, Spartan Ops is just awful. What I get when playing Spartan Ops is that I feel like 343 Industries wanted to make a mode that served as both an additional campaign mission type of mode, as well as something akin to the firefight mode from Halo Reach and Halo 3 ODST. The problem is that Spartan Ops doesn't do either of these things particularly well. This is because the story for Spartan Ops is so loosely done that it is almost non-existent. Then you have the firefight aspect to Spartan Ops that is just done so terribly because 343 Industries doesn't understand the concept of enemy scaling. First, the story. The story itself is about Halsey, the librarian, looking for a thing called the Janus Key. But when they get it, Commander Palmer tries to assassinate Halsey because reasons? And the whole game, you're trying to find this elite Jewel Dama, whoever that is. Um, because, like, I don't even know why. He's in the final cutscene with Halsey and the librarian and a few other Spartans. And for some reason, no one sees Commander Palmer's attempt to assassinate Halsey coming. I don't know because they just do such a poor job telling this story that I can't even explain it any better. As anyone who has talked about Spartan Ops would tell you, there was supposed to be another season of Spartan Ops, but it was cancelled because of how popular the mode was, right? Anyway, the so-called story for Spartan Ops was finished in a frickin' comic book called Halo Escalation that I'm sure tons of people read, and they still don't kill Jewel Amdana. Yeah. Yeah, they don't kill him until like the opening mission of Halo 5 Guardians. That's one of the most stupid ways to tell a story that started in Halo 4, continues in a 24 issue comic book, and doesn't get finished until Halo 5. As for the firefight aspect of Spartan Ops, I specified overwhelming for a reason, and that's because sometimes in these chapters, they just don't know when to stop throwing enemies at you. Now, something like this could work, but the core idea of firefight works against the core mechanics of Halo 4 in general. What I mean by that is Halo 4 has an issue with weapons that comes down to an ammo problem. The UNSC weapons do not carry as much ammo as they had in the Bungie Halo games. For example, the assault rifle should have a total of 288 ammo, but in Halo 4 it has 256. On top of that, you can very rarely find scavengeable UNSC weapons so you can top off your weapons. On the Covenant side, sure, the weapons are more plentiful, but 343 made the Covenant weapons so they consume like 2% charge per shot. This means they run out of ammo twice as fast, and no, they didn't give the weapons twice as much ammo either, like they should have. The Forerunner weapons are not much better either, but I think you get the point. My biggest problem with the firefight aspect of Spartan Ops is the total lack of scaling with the enemies. What I mean is that, depending on the number of players, there should be a certain amount of enemies that come at one time. If I'm playing Spartan Ops by myself, I shouldn't be so overwhelmed by enemies to the point that I can't not die. This also ties into another thing that Halo 4 does so great is the stupid Prometheans. 
When I did my discussion video on Halo 4's campaign, I said that the Prometheans are the replacement for the Flood, but are somehow even more annoying than the Flood, because, and that's saying something, because I personally find the Flood super annoying. So yeah, the missions where I have to hold out against wave after wave after wave of Prometheans is just agonizing and impossible to do without dying several times. Again, I'm playing it on easy. In some missions, I was dying like six, seven, ten times. Uh, something I saw in another video that was on Spartan Ops that I agree with is that dying in this mode means absolutely nothing. You know how in firefight mode in like Halo Reach and the th Halo 3 ODST, you have a specific number of lives. How if you win so many rounds, you gain lives, and if you spent all your lives, you get a message about how the area is lost, you need to retreat? That's something that Spartan Ops really needs if you ask me. There's no consequence to dying over and over as you just respawn and continue on. There should be like a 10 life limit. If you spend all 10 lives, then Commander Palmer or Captain Lasky or Spartan Miller can come over the comms and say something like how the UNSC is taking too many Spartan losses and they're pulling out of this operation. And if you do well, you get rewarded with more lives in the next mission. I don't know, something like that would be great. Ultimately, I find that Spartan Ops is not a good time and not worth the time to play it. I chose to play all 10 episodes and I really regret it because I was just getting more and more frustrated as I continued to play it. Halo 4 Spartan Ops is an awful and not at all enjoyable experience. That's all I have to say, so if you want to have the conversation, leave a comment below. As always, thanks for listening, and goodbye.